This is a look at the lyrics for the UCO fight song, and it could soon be a thing of the past. Today I spoke to UCO alum Reverend Harry Gatewood III. He's a former football player who graduated in 2008. He says this all started when he happened to be looking at UCO's Instagram post last month with the school mascot. And uh, while looking at that same post about the mascot, I proceeded to go to the UCO history page and it was the coming together of the UCO fight song uh, being intertwined with uh, Pride Month and Black, or Black Music Month. Gatewood says, among other things, the song isn't inclusive. And he has issues with the word boy, which he'd like to be removed from the song. As you may know, the word boy uh, back in um, more ancient past was used as a derogatory word toward black men. And, and some individuals may not see the word boy as, uh, you know, incriminating or harmful. Uh, but when you have black athletes who are actually over the age of 18 who are actually men, and you're telling these boys to fight um, or, you know, to continue on with pride, it could be a bit demeaning. Or even more so if you're a female athlete, I was like, that probably needs to be changed because, as you may know, UCO is doing great in regards to women's athletics. Gatewood tells me he sent an email to the UCO's Diversity and Inclusion Office and learned they were already taking steps to address some of his concerns. UCO officials sending me this statement reading in part, a group of students and administrators are currently working together to make revisions to the university fight song that reflect an inclusive community. The goal is to have it ready by fall semester. Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.